Hello everyone and welcome to A Slice of My Life. First of all, I want to apologize if I sound a little bit strange because I'm feeling slightly under the weather. But anyway, in front of us, we have two beautiful boxes and clearly you can see it's from Damn Designs. You guys already know my girlfriend loved the stainless steel triad so much I gave it to her and the brass triad was won by someone in a giveaway so I actually don't have a triad anymore. So when the pre-orders open up for a second batch of triad at Damn Designs definitely I jumped on it and this is it. But at the same time Adrian D'Souza he's the man behind Damn Designs he reached out to me and said I'm gonna send you a turbulence because I want you to give it a review. So I said wow that's such an honor from the triad and now the turbulence it'll be my pleasure and a huge honor to me. And so I have the turbulence here with me as well. And I do believe that this might be one of the first looks at the product version of the turbulence. Now let's start things off by showing you the updated triad. Updated because I believe that Adrian has made some improvements to the buttons, but I wanted to share with you guys this new beautiful packaging. Look, it's, it's still wood, but look at the underside. There are four little sponge legs that really, just offer some grip and it feels good when you put this down on the table. Next, the box design has been updated. It is not the older version with the cutouts. This has a very nicely printed on Damn Designs logo, but check this out. It is still a magnetic lip, but look at this. It's hinged now this way. It's different from the older one. Look at how beautiful those hinges are. It's crazy. What? And then inside you get a pouch and of course a Dam Designs name card. And at the bottom, you actually have a layer of felt. And this is really, really nice. I like it. This packaging is nice. Adrian, good job, man. Good job at the packaging. Now let's open this up and we'll take a peek at what's inside. Oh, nice. Guys, I've not opened this up before. So uh, this is my, really my first impressions on this thing. We got a spare stainless steel bearing. Looks like a stainless steel bearing. I'm not so sure if it's a hybrid ceramic, but anyway, we've got a spare bearing and we have two things here. Oh, these are extra buttons. Wow. Oh, wow. Okay, these are the circular buttons and they now apparently feature, okay, what am I doing? Just take it out of the packet. I guess I got a little bit too excited. Wow. This is nice. Oh, it's so different. It's so much better versus the first original button. This has no sharp edges. The older one would just easily, you know, grip onto your skin and would scratch you and all that. But wow, this is cool. Wait, hold on, hold on. I got the old version of the button here because my girlfriend didn't take it. So what I did was I sanded off the top layer. I sanded it flat and then I gave it a very light kind of rounding, I suppose, with a buffering uh, nail file. And then I put it through a stone washing process so you can see from the sides that it's slightly stone washed. And right now this is more comfortable than what it originally was, but the steps inside still feel a little bit sharp. You can still feel the steps gripping onto your skin, but this one is really nice. Wow, that's a huge improvement. Wow, Adrian, hey, Adrian, really good job. And it's the same width, amazing. Nice, very, very nice. This angle cut here, this huge chamfered edge, so comfortable versus this. Wow, it still features the same lip. So I don't know about compatibility, but there has been a solution. I'll get to that in a while. Let's put these buttons aside and let's look at the triad. And guys, I'm just basing off whatever I have in mind, okay? Because I don't have a physical triad with me. I mean, I really didn't feel any problems with the older original triad, you know, the edges out here. They never really were a cause of concern, but this one seems like it's rounded a little bit more, very, very slightly. Yeah, that's, that's nice. That's really cool. And these buttons, I, I don't know if these buttons have been updated, but they are, you know, still the Decagon buttons. Ah, oh, smooth spin. Really smooth. I wonder what bearing these are. Oh, they are shielded. Hmm, I guess I have to find out what bearings these really are because apparently they look like they're shielded and they look like they might be lubricated as well. That's why we're getting such a smooth, silent spin. But nice touch by Adrian to actually provide a second bearing that is de-shielded and I presume that it's dry so that you could choose whether you want something a bit louder but better spin times or softer and quieter and smoother. Very nice. Okay, I'm liking this. I'm really happy with the triad. Really, really, really. I've loved the triad since day one and I really needed to get another one. <laughs> now with that out of the way, let's talk about this baby over here. I have not seen the turbulence. I've only seen it in pictures and I've seen it in the renders and all that kind of stuff, but I want to see it in person. And finally it's here. So uh, I'm really excited about this. Let's just open this up. Same packaging as you guys can see. Very beautiful box as well. We've got the name card, Damn Designs name card. We got this pouch and uh, this is the moment of truth. Here we go. Oh, nice. Oh, oh wow, hey. 
What? Okay, wait, wait a minute, wait a minute. These buttons are different. They don't have the lip on the inside and it's angled two ways. Wow. Wow, these buttons are nice. Oh, man, oh man, oh man. Okay, these are good buttons. Look at that. At this point, I'm gonna interrupt and say that Adrian also sent me a separate pack with a button, just a loose button, and he said that this is the Vortex button. So I'm gonna just look at these. And you can see that the Vortex buttons are slightly wider. Look at the side edges, guys. The Vortex is flat on the outside. But the Turbulence button is kind of like an angled thing. Oh uh, yeah, it's, there's a really slight flat edge here. Very, very slight. It's almost like it's rounded. My eyes playing tricks on me? It looks like it's rounded. I can't really tell if it's flat or rounded. So comfortable. Very nice, very nicely done. And this chamfered edge, what? Let's take out this package and see what else is inside. So, we got another bearing, a stainless steel bearing. Not sure if it's a hybrid ceramic. I gotta update you guys. And, oh, that looks good. Brushed finish. Let's check it out. Oh, it feels good. They look like they've been brushed individually on each arm, not like a uniform direction. So that's actually a nice touch. Cool. And these buttons look like they're the same. Very nice Dam Designs logo right here. On one side, I like that touch. And beautiful window cut slots. And these slots have an inner chamfer. So it's really, really smooth. There's no cutting edge or any sharp edges at all. I was thinking that if it was gonna be just cut straight through, it'll be uncomfortable if you have your finger land on the side whenever you flick it. But this is really comfortable. Okay, job well done. Time for a spin. Here we go. Ho 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 ho. Ho 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 ho. Ho ho ho. Silent. Silent. That's because I'm assuming that it is a shielded, duplicated bearing. Wow. Okay, I'm going to change the direction. And let's see. Oh, this feels good as well. Wow. Okay. Forward flicks with this is nice. See how it kind of hugs your finger right here? I like that hugging feeling. Wow. This is nice. Right here. Oh, goodness. Goodness, this feels so good. But preloaded flicks on this way? What? Oh, actually, forward flicks on this is good too. Wow. Okay, guys, I'm thoroughly impressed with this. I didn't expect it to be this fun to fidget with. At first, when Adrian showed me the design, it was really based after, I believe, a pinwheel. And so I was like, mm, looks kind of plain. And initially, he didn't even have these window cut slots. And I was like, hmm. Is there a way to make it, I guess, a little bit more visually appealing and then this is cool. Oh, you can see the area where it's machined out for the raised parts. But it's smooth. And these, uh, I guess these curves here, kind of reminds me of the Zentri Nano, where it's really, really well done, well-rounded. I don't know, good job, really good job. Wow, this is, this is something else, this is something else. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna try and change the bearings out and I'm gonna use one of those de-shielded bearings pop this out grab the other bearing pop it right in there let's try it with the vortex buttons hey they cover up the outer edges a little bit more okay comparison guys ah nice so this one you actually see more of that dip going in with the standard buttons and with the vortex buttons you get yeah you get it a little bit wider, just very slightly, but it covers up the outer lip a little bit more. So I think to be fair, I'm going to try it with the original buttons first. Here we go. Oh, guys. Guys, this is goodness in the hand. <laughs> what? Oh, really, really smooth. Okay, I'm going to spin this right here and grab my stubby. Hold on. Here's my stubby for size comparison. Stop this guy and there we go. It is bigger than a stubby for sure because it is a quad design, quad spinner. Nice, eh? Oh, I'm digging it. I'm digging it a lot. I am thoroughly impressed. From the finish to the cutouts to the buttons, I'd expect nothing less from a quad spinner. This is nothing less. I mean, there are not a lot of quad spinners out there in the market. Let's just be real with that. And this, I really like this. This is really good. 
I'm thinking of my first experience with the quad spinner and that is the Spinetic X. And this, you know, experiencing this right now, is a much better experience than I had with the Spinetic X. Now at that point of time, of course, the Spinetic X was of a different category altogether. It was the start of a new era, so that was a real trendsetter back then. Affordable, really great spins. The main downside of it was that it was so sharp. That's, that's really, it was really sharp on all the edges. But this one though, very, very nice. And I like the fact that it's a slightly asymmetrical design, meaning that if you hold it this way or you hold it this way, it's a slightly different orientation and you get a slightly different feel. This is my first impressions video. I promised Adrian that I would make a first impressions video. So this is going to be separate from the afterthoughts video. So what I'm going to do next is put this guy on my EDC for a week or so and then get back to you guys and let you all know what I really think of the damn designs turbulence. Eight hours later. New one, bro. New one. Yeah, this just came out. Turbulence. Turbulence. Yeah. Pretty smooth, huh? Solid, huh? Yeah. Pretty cool. Very smooth. Buttons are nice. Feels very good in hand. Not a fingerprint magnet. And it's not sharp at all, considering all the ages. I like this logo. Simple, right? Yeah, very minimalistic. It's actually two letter Ds. Oh, the damn, damn designs. Ah, smart. Including two bearings with a spinner lets you choose between which kind of bearings and which kind of character you want, what kind of spin character you want. You want quiet, silent and smooth or you want something with a bit more like feedback and a bit noisier but can spin longer. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, you really go for silent. You? Silent is always better. In the office and uh, the office environment, silent is the best. There's no ringing sound, no worrying sound, just silent all the way. But this one's pretty okay when I put it on the table just now, it's not bad. Like honestly, this is quite soft. I think maybe because the bearings are rather new. I think so. Hey guys, I decided to end this video at the end of the day because it is an initial impressions video, right? So I spent the entire day out at work, went to lunch, I went out a little bit for dinner after work and I still have the turbulence with me. Of course, I lent it out to Tetris for a little while as well and got his, I guess his input because you know, he's quite the spin enthusiast now. So he shared what he thought about the turbulence and he got his input and I decided to film myself now because the impressions are still very fresh in my mind. So I'm going to say that I like it. It's been a very good experience so far and I'm thoroughly impressed, especially in particular with the buttons. Now, uh, before I forget all this information, first off, the price point. This is going for, this was going for, I should say, $59.99 USD and it's offered in two finishes, which is polish and brushed and it's only in stainless steel uh, no brass and the bearings that are in it apparently are SKF branded bearings if I'm not wrong it's SKF and it is lubricated and shielded so they are almost like a one drop bearing kind of competitor where it's really silent and smooth and the other bearing that's included is a stainless steel bearing so that one's unshielded so you know I've swapped it out to a stainless steel unshielded bearing because I like the kind of resonance I like the kind of feedback from the spinner that's just a personal opinion I know some of you just really want something really silent like Tetris he prefers something silent and smooth so all in all I mean think about it for $59.99 you get some awesome awesome packaging you get a wooden box you get a pouch you get the spinner a set of extra buttons you get an extra bearing like what more could you ask for and whether or not you're choosing the polish version or the brush version there is no difference in price like i said before fidgeting with this today has not posed any problems whatsoever it is rounded all over yeah outside here it's an edge but it's not a sharp edge it's like rounded still and this way it's flat so it's not really a hot spot well i gotta give a lot of props to damn designs because judging from what they had before this which is the triad the triad was i guess you could say it looked sharp but it was actually really really smooth and really rounded at the same time so it was a nice angle and it looked like a very beautiful design but yet it did not have any hot spots and that's pretty amazing for a design like that and this one is the same all around it looks very angular it looks okay i'm gonna use the wrong word here it looks sharp but you know what i mean by it looks sharp that means it looks good like it looks clean so really good job and i'm thoroughly impressed 
and the fact that it is asymmetrical you get to fidget with it two different ways it just feels different depending on how you hold it and I really like it and uh, just wasn't able to put it down and it being a quad design you know it's super super smooth and that is my first impressions on the turbulence I think it's good value for money and I personally love it because stainless steel quad nice window cuts and I'm looking forward to see if anyone is ever gonna put any moon glow in this like all these window slots over here they'll be really interesting yeah so that's about it guys, that's my initial impressions. I thought that I would just give you something a little bit more interesting rather than my usual, where all you see is just the black or now the new gray background with my hand and the spinner. Thought I would just immediately whip out my camera and record down my findings and my impressions on this, yeah. So that's about it, and I'll catch you guys in the next slice of my life. Bye.